Hello friends, welcome to this video. In continuation with the lookup function series, so in this video, we'll be talking about one of the most basic function of lookup function group, which is known as lookup. Okay, it is also known as a simple lookup function. So let us see in this video that what is the lookup function, what are the advantages and disadvantages of lookup function, what is the syntax of lookup function, and then we will also understand with the help of an example. So let us start in this video the lookup function. We are having first of all the definition of lookup function. The lookup function in Microsoft Excel is one of the older lookup functions. That is, it came before VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. So it's a very old function. It is used to search for a value in a row or column and return a corresponding value from another row or column. So as such, the functionality is almost similar to VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP, but we'll see further the differences also. However, lookup is less flexible compared to newer functions like XLOOKUP, VLOOKUP or INDEX plus MATCH function. So we have already seen all these functions in the previous video. So please check out those videos. We have talked about XLOOKUP also, VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP. We have seen separately INDEX function function match function and we have also seen in one of the video the combination of index and match function so please go through all these videos one by one in this series now in this lookup function we are having here two syntax first one is known as vector form which is the most common one so here we are starting with the lookup function then in the lookup function we have to first of all have the lookup value that is what we have also in the other functions so the value that you want to search for there is the lookup value. Then we are having the lookup vector. That is a one row or one column range to search in where we have to search this lookup value that is known as lookup vector. And then we have the result vector. Yeah, this is optional. Another one row or one column range from which to return a value. So this is just like our return array in the case of X lookup. So these are the three arguments for the vector form. Then we have another option that is known as array form. In the array form, we have only two things, that is the lookup value and the array. Now here, one condition is very, very important that here Excel looks for lookup value in the first row or column of the array and returns a value from the last row or column. So whatever we want to have in return, it will always get it from the last row or column that we select. Okay, so I'll also show you one example here. This form is rarely used today because it's less flexible. So normally we don't use the array form, we use more of vector form in the lookup function. Important part, lookup requires the lookup vector to be sorted in ascending order. So whatever we are talking about this lookup vector, it has to be sorted in the ascending order. Otherwise, the result may be incorrect. So this we have to remember. The second one is that if an exact match isn't found, then lookup returns the largest value less than or equal to the lookup value. So this is the by default characteristic of lookup function that if the exact match is not found for a particular value, then it returns the largest value, which is less than or equal to the lookup value. And the third thing is this, that it is mostly replaced today by VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP or XLOOKUP, which are much more powerful because this is one of the function which came earlier. But after this lookup function, now we are using VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP and now the latest one is the XLOOKUP. Nowadays, I don't know that how many people are using this lookup function. So overall, what is the summary here? That lookup is the old school lookup function. Great for simple lookups in sorted data. And for modern Excel, XLOOKUP is usually better. But let us understand what is the lookup function. So here we are having two kind of tables. One table is vertical table here and another table is a horizontal table. So I'll show you the lookup function for both the tables because see lookup function can be applied for both the tables. Normally we have seen in the previous videos that VLOOKUP can be applied for the vertical table and HLOOKUP can be applied for the horizontal table. But this lookup function can be applied for both the tables. So that is I think so one of the advantage which I see here for this lookup function. Let us start. I'm having here here the ID 101 and for 101 here I want to get the salary so I want to get the salary of this 101 so 101 salary is 50,000 so this 50,000 I want to get it over here so in this cell I type equal to lookup now here we are having two options either we go with the first option where we write down the result vector or we can also go for the array now first of all I'll start with this array option I have to write down here first of all the lookup value lookup value is this one comma and now I have to select the array now what I'll do that here I'll select all these cells starting from a66 till d70 I'll select all these cells bracket complete press enter and now here we are getting that answer 50,000 let me make it bigger for you so here we are getting the answer 50,000 
okay so this is correct now suppose here if i want to get here the answer that is the department for 101 what is the department here it is hr so i want to get here the department hr for 101 now let me type here again lookup now i select here this cell that is the lookup value comma and now i'll go with the second option array now in the array what i'll do again i will select all these cells over here select all these cells bracket complete press enter again what we are getting here the answer 50000 why because you see here in the array i told you this one condition here excel looks for lookup value in the first row or column of the array and returns a value from the last row or column so here what we did that we selected this whole table and the last column was this column so whatever is available in the last column for this 101 employee id it will be shown over here now suppose here instead of 50000 if i want to get this answer hr which is the department for 101 then what i have to do here i have to just modify that instead of this array what i have to do i have to select here only these cells i don't have to select the last column i have to select only these cells now press enter and now we are getting the answer hr so this is the condition that you have to remember if you if i want to get the department for this 101 i have to select all these cells and the last column has to be the department if i want to get the salary for 101 then i have to select all these cells over here and the last column which i have to select here should be salary which i want to have over here and if i want to have only the name of this employee id 101 then i have to select only these two columns and then finally here it will show you for 101 the name is allies so this is how we are working with this array now suppose if i want to work with this another form that is known as vector form which is the most common form so now what i'll do let me write here again the formula equal to now see here for 101 i want to get here the salary that is 50000 so i write down here equal to lookup press tab and now i have to write down the lookup value lookup value is this one that is a73 comma now lookup vector now see this 101 where i have to search i have to search over here yeah, in this ID column, I have to search 101. So I have written here this A66 to A70, that is this cell, comma. Now I'll be writing the result vector. So what do I want to have in return? I want to have in return the salary. Okay, so I select the cell from D66 to D70, the salary, bracket complete, press enter, and now I'm getting here answer 50,000. Now, suppose if I want to get here the answer HR, then here I will modify this formula, lookup bracket A73, that is this cell, comma. Now the lookup vector is this one. I have to search this 101 over here, comma. And now in the result vector, what I have to do, I have to now select all these cells of the department okay i select all these cells of the department that is c66 to c70 press enter and now i'm getting here hr so whichever column you want to have in return you select only those cells as the return vector here okay that's the return vector or result vector and we are getting here the answer but if you are using normal array form then you have to ensure that whichever column you are selecting the last one from that cell only the return array will come or the return value will come so I would request you to go for the vector form and not the array form because now people are not using array form. Now here also we can use the lookup function. So let's say here I'm, I'm having the ID 102. Let me make it bigger for you. Okay, so I'm having here ID 102. And now for this 102, let's say if I want to get here the department. In this cell, I'll be writing equal to lookup. I'll be selecting the lookup value that is this one, I73, comma. Now the lookup vector. Now see here i'll be selecting this lookup vector because i have to search this 102 where i have to search over here comma and then i have to go for the result vector now what i want to have in the return the department so i'll be selecting all these cells over here now see this is a horizontal table so we can select like this bracket complete press enter and now for 102 the department is finance yeah 102 the department is finance suppose instead of department if i want to have here salary then i'll be modifying my formula equal to lookup then this is the lookup value then the lookup vector is this one on the top area and now i have to modify this area that is the result vector so result vector means what i want to have it in the return i want to have the salary so i'll be selecting all these cells as the result vector that is j68 to n68 that is my result vector press enter and now here you are getting the answer 60,000 that is this one the salary of 102 is 60,000 so this is the advantage that we get it for the lookup function that we can use it for the vertical table also we can use it for the horizontal table also it is one of the oldest function in the lookup range so now people are not using that much people have been using vlookup xlookup and now in the next video i'll be discussing the last function in this range and that is known as the xmatch
okay we have already seen what is the match function in the one of the previous video but now we'll be going for the last function in this series in this lookup function series that is known as the x match so let us meet in the next video till then thank you very much